Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Code with P. In this video, I'll show you how to create a Gradle-based multi-module project. We will create different modules and we will see how we can utilize the common dependencies across different modules and also we will see how to add the dependency of one module within the other module. To start with, I have created a Gradle-based project. If you have to create a new project, you can create a new project from IntelliJ and here from the new project, you can select Gradle and then you can create a new project. When you create a new project from this option, you will see the same setup as I have right now. In the usual Gradle based projects, you will find all of these files such as build.gradle, settings.gradle, the Gradle folder that consists of Gradle wrapper. You can find the executables for Windows as well as for other operating system. The beauty of Gradle is you need not to install anything on your system. With the help of these executables, you can run all the Gradle based commands. And then we have this build.gradle file task. It will show all the tasks available in our build. So right now you can see we have some of the basic tasks. These are the default Gradle tasks. And apart from that, we have some of the tasks which are coming from the Java plugin as we have added Java plugin in our code. If we remove all of this configuration, let's see what happens. We have the Gradle based task, but now you cannot see any task related to Java. Whatever plugins we will add in our build file, tasks related to those plugins will be available in our build. For the Java, we have these tasks. So here we can run the build task. This build is a default task of Java. If we run this task, it will trigger lots of action. We can run this build task with the info option. It will show us all of the information of this task. Let's look from the top. We were running the build task. So here it starts. First of all, it will evaluate the settings.gradle file. And in this file, whatever modules are there, it will pick all of those modules. Right now we have just the parent module which is multi-module setup. So it will evaluate this module and in the configuration phase it will check the build.gradle file of that particular module. So here we have this build.gradle file which has plugin Java. It will pick all the tasks of Java plugin which are related to build and it has prepared the list of tasks that has to be done in the order of the task. Here the build has find out these tasks. So one by one, all of these tasks will be running and in each task, the particular action will be done. Like in compile Java, Java classes will be compiled and similarly, it will process the resource folder and then it will create the classes and prepare the jar file. Then it has created a build folder. So this build folder consists of the artifacts that has been created after the task that we were running. Now, because we have only one module, so here everything is running for that particular module, which is the parent module. Now let's see how we can add a new module in our project. For that, we can go to the multi-module setup projects and from here, we can select module. And this is same as creation of the new project, but this time this module will be added within the parent module. Here we will create a module, module one. It is trying to build the new module. And if you see here, we have got a new module module one and within this module there is the src folder and then we have the build.gradle file difference in the module and the root project is within the module we will only find the build.gradle file but in the root module we have all the gradle wrappers gradle executables and the settings.gradle file that means whenever we are running a gradle task it will be running on the top of root project we can run the modules specific task as well we will see that in a bit. Right now in the build.gradle file of module one, you can see we have same thing as we have in the parent module. Let's run the build for now. So this time when we are running this build, let's see what happens to the evaluation phase. So here in the evaluation phase, settings file is being evaluated. And from that file, now we have two modules here, the multi-module setup for the root project and then the module one. And if we look into the settings.gradle file, here we have got the module one automatically included for us. Configuration is happening for each of these module. And here for the module one, all the tasks are evaluated. Now here we have the task for the parent module and then the same tasks are running for the child module. If we just remove this module one from here, let's see what happens. 
it is running only the build of the parent module because even if we have module one but that is not part of the settings.cradle so it won't be included in the build if we need to run only task of the child module then we can do that by applying the colon and the module name and then the task that we want to run so here this time it is running the task for the module one let's look at the module one's build.gradle file here we have the same task as we have in the parent module setup file so why should we even have a duplicate file we should have the configuration in only one module let's remove the configuration for the module one and now we should expect that the parent module build.gradle file should run the task for both the child and the parent let's see if that happens we don't have any task related to java because we did not add anything on the module one build file and here is the only task that is part of the cradle so by default this task will run that means whatever build.cradle file we have defined in the parent module does not take care of the child modules automatically we need to add something here so that the child module will also be included in the same build.cradle file for that we have a couple of options number one we can add here one property all projects this property defines the configuration for all of the project within this build that means the parent project as well as the child module that are part of this project here whatever configuration we will define it will be applied to the child module right now what configuration we want we want all the dependencies and everything for the child module right so here we have the all of these details if we just copy these details in the all projects now let's see anything good happens for the module one let's run the complete build so you can see it did not run any task for the module one whenever we define a build or cradle file for certain module when we add this plugin the task within that plugin will be automatically applied when i say apply that means all of the tasks will be part of the build whenever we have any other configuration such as all projects or there are lots of other configuration in that specifically we need to apply the plugin for applying the plugin we can do apply and then plugin here we can define the name of the plugin when we apply the plugin all of the tasks of that plugin will be applied to the module that we are referring here here we are referring the all projects so this plugin will be applied in all of the module of that project now let's run this build here you can see we have all the tasks running for the module one as well now within this build out gradle module if we add few specific plugins those plugin will only be part of the module one let's add the groovy now let's see what happens if we build this you can see we have for the child module module one we have the java modules because these are coming from the all projects and then we have the task for the groovy module so only tasks which are part of the module one are included for module one and all of the other tasks are part of both module one and the parent module most of the time you would not be writing any code within the parent module and you want to run the task for the child module here we have added the all projects we want to print the module names we are writing the print statement hello within this gradle file we have the project wrapper object you can use any of the property of the project we want to print the name of the project so let's do that project dot name this is how you write the code in groovy if we run this it is printing hello for the parent module and then for the child module so this is running for all of the project if we want to run it for only child project for that we can do sub project so here is the configuration for the sub project let's run the build it is printing hello for only module one this time it did not pick it for the parent module if you want to include multiple modules so we can create the different modules we have got the module 2 and again from this build.gradle let's remove everything now we have two modules module 1 and module 2 in this build.gradle whatever configuration we have added it will be applied for both the modules that we can verify so here we have the module 2 and module 1 in your project it is possible that you want to run some of the configuration for a specific module and not for all the modules 
to do that let's do one thing here we can add the condition and we want configuration that is running is for a specific module then only it will be applied otherwise it will not be applied for that we can list down all the modules that we want to include for example if we want to include only module 1 and then we can check if it contains the project dot name this configuration will be running first of all it will go through this sub project and now for each module it will check if that module is one of the module that we have defined here if that is so then it will run the configuration otherwise it will skip and if we run this again so now this module 1 is included but you cannot see module 2 however the sub project task should be running for both the modules so yeah here we have module 1 and module 2 hello it is possible that you need to have a different configuration for few of the modules and different configuration for other modules for that you can add different conditions here but that could be a polluted code to make it better we can do one more thing here we can define the configuration we can configure the different projects for doing that we can define the configure and it takes the project so here we have the projects like module 1 and module 2 so these are the projects that we can include in the config but how can we do that so here you can list down the configuration say we have the java project and if we want to run this configuration for only java projects so let's cut this thing here this java projects you can define as a list so here we have java projects and we can define the list in Ruby like this here we can define the project name like this so let's define module 1 this is the dev so we have defined the java projects and now it has a list of modules that we want to include the configuration you might have the spring boot based microservices so you can define one configuration for the microservices similarly you can define other configuration for say kafka based modules or some utility classes and all so based on your requirement you can define different configuration let's run the build here it is running just the build for module 1 if we include the module 2 as well it should run for both the modules so this is about adding the different modules and adding the configuration for different modules now let's see how we can include one module within the other module here we have module 1 and module 2 we want to include the module 1 within module 2 we have date util class which has get date method that returns the new date and this has to be utilized within the module 2 for that in the build.gradle file of module 2 we need module 1 adding any dependencies we can add the dependencies here we can add the implementation so we can define the dependency for the module that we have within a project by finding the project and then the name of the project and the name is always with the colon and the name so here we want to include module 1 now we will make use of the date util class here we will print the date and the date we want to print from date util of the module 1 we don't have any reference of the date util within the module 2 from here we can build the project and if we do that we have the date util if we run this application so it should print the date this application main returning the date from the date util so this is how you can add the dependency of one module into the other module this is all for now if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe and also please press the bell icon to get the latest update on my upcoming videos till then happy coding